Oh, hey. What's going on, everybody? My name is Kobe Scrubby. Welcome back to Horror Tales The Beggar. Thanks so much for coming to hang out on this Monday night. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy the stream, you can follow. You can turn on notifications. You can even subscribe if you don't want to see ads and or if you would like to join my subscriber only satisfactory server. How do you subscribe? You can pay $5 to subscribe or you can subscribe for free. And all you have to do is connect any Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account and you'll have a free subscription every month. You'll never have to pay for a subscription. It comes free with your Amazon Prime. Otherwise, you're going to have to watch the ads. You're not going to be able to join the server until that one day where your luck kicks in and you catch a random gifted sub. Well, this doesn't happen very often, but I guess you'd probably have better chance making friends with somebody in the chat and begging them to gift you a sub. I've seen it before. It has happened. So, so we're playing uh, Horror Tales the Beggar, second episode tonight. And I believe I am past halfway through, maybe even three quarters of the way through. So we should be finishing it tonight. So let's do it. I got a couple things to show you when more people get in here tonight. So I'm going to, I'm going to hold that for a little bit until we're ready. Here we are. How did we get here? I don't remember. Do you remember? Uh, I must have gone down a hole. So basically I have a light hand. I can use that to pull stuff up towards me and I can charge and, uh, project, um, propel that stuff at my enemies or things that I can break. I also have the ability to make clear skies, rain, those two go together, and then night, sunset, or noon. Um, and now, let's just put that on. Okay. Now this is my only light source. And I have nothing to throw at the moment, so let's go. Oh, yeah. We started hearing machine gun fire. <gasps> Wait, does this just go around? What's up, dishonest? I got a TikTok to show you guys, and I uh, came, came across a picture of my old Roush Mustang on... On. Is that a dog? On Facebook, so I pulled the picture up to show you guys. Just reminded. Okay. Oh, it's the little wolf guy. Hold on a second. This picture looks like somebody that I know, but I can't tell because it's so small and this plus is over their face. And you said it reminded you of me. And I'm like, wait, is this that person? But it can't be. I haven't seen them in many years. Oh, liquid ass spray. You're gonna make them think that you just shit oh in the car. Oh my god, this stuff is dripping everywhere. Oh, it's on me. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, stop, stop. Oh, you know that's. Oh my god. Yeah, smell. now it's, oh. your car is gonna smell like that. Forever. It totally is. <laughs> <laughs> it totally is. 
Yeah? Go fuck. <laughs> Yes, sir. What the fuck is this? Damn. What's my total? Come on, stop playing. What's my total? Oh my god. <laughs> it stinks so bad. Your total. Yeah. Is that true? <laughs> no, it ain't me. That might be you. What you talking about? I do smell. It ain't me. What's my total? Oh my god. Look. I can't serve you. That smell is horrible. Man, stop playing and get my damn chicken. Man, the number right there if you want to call customer service on me, man. Uh-uh. Fuck. Fuck. Ha ha. You didn't get your chicken. Funny but horrible to do. To, I mean, it's just going to make the person at the window think that you shit your pants in your car. And honestly... The one that I smelled smells like more like horse manure, which isn't horrible, but it's really strong. If you're spraying that much of it, you're only supposed to do like one or two sprays. She let a lot of it out. Doggy. Woof. <laughs> How'd you see me? Hi, Daggy. Where are you going? Oh. All right, here you go. Ready? Hold on. I pressed the wrong button, Doggy. Sorry. Was I supposed to hit you with it or what? Oh my god, here. Get, give it. Oh, there you go. There you go. You like that? I'm using my powers for good. Play a happy game with someone innocent. Good boy! Geez, you good poopy! Good job! Here! Here you go! I should be able to, I might... Aha! Aha! Go get this one! What if I throw a friggin' tire at him? <laughs> Does this go on forever or what? <laughs> I feel like the game's complete now. Come here! Come here! All right, ready? Go get it! Go get it! Oh, good boy! <laughs> good boy! You good boy? You good boy? You look terrified. All right, one more, okay? Hey, one more! It doesn't go for it till it hits the ground. Made a comment on video saying I won't fight if I'm drafted for the Israel Gaza stuff and they can lock me up. So when <clears throat> I won't fight, oh, I won't fight as in, I thought you meant like, I won't fight as in, I won't uh, refuse to be drafted. <laughs> If I saying they'll force me to fight and I'm like, how, like, what if I lay down on the battlefield? Are they going to prevent that? I don't know. I don't know much about it. All right. Last one. 
But we're not doing that here anymore. You are done? You are done? Are done? You are done? You are done? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Bye, doggy. Where'd your bone go? Uh, I gotta get your bone back for you. Here. What, are you all done? Here you go. Why, I gotta put it in your mouth for you? <laughs> Wait, you messed it up. Don't move. Stop. Don't move. Oh, good puppy. Oh, good puppy. Here you go. Bye. Uh oh. Really? Uh oh. There's the dead mama dog. Wait, did you go get the... Can I not open that? Oh, I have to. There's the key. How the hell? <laughs> Maybe I gotta hit it from <clears throat> from over here. Do I have to use the bone doggy? <laughs> Oh my god, that was so loud! Did I just kill the... I was just trying to hit the lock! Did I just kill it? Oh my god, if I killed it, I have to reload. <clears throat> Maybe I just gotta go this way. <clears throat> A little excited about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Didn't that not come out like a few years ago? They remade him? It was dead. Because I did this before and it moved. What the hell? Were you eating this? Do I have to give it to the other dog? There are loads of ads for... What? There's loads of ads playing right now? Is that what you mean? <coughs> there shouldn't be. It's going to get the arm. Hungry wolf. Oh, I fed the wolf. <laughs> it says October 9, 2023. Yeah. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater remakes came out. Um, a, a little, uh, I don't know, a while ago, I feel like. Look, I gave him that arm. And he's eating it. You good boy? You got some blood on you. Yeah. Are you going to eat me now? <clears throat> Just hearing about it? Oh. You know what I think is... When those came out originally, it was back in the day. <clears throat> it was... PlayStation 1? It was... been eight months and this is the first time I've seen oh and it was before G uh, was it before GTA 3 
because I, I feel like they were around the same time, except I think Tony Hawk was, was before. Um, so this is what I feel like. I feel like they were amazing games back then. Um, and some people may like them now, but I, f maybe it's just me, but I feel like, I don't know. I'd have to play them again. I just kind of feel like it's not going to hit the same. I'm trying to think of another example. Uh, 1999. So that was, yeah, I was... That was when I was in like eighth grade. So I was like, I was like 14. The cub, finish your encounter with a little fella. So that was back in the day. Like that was the coolest thing to ever come out. Um, I don't know. I guess I'd have to play them. I guess I can't say until I play them myself. I'm trying to think of another game. Like, maybe another game, another old game that they remade that was super popular back then, but it just doesn't hit the same anymore nowadays. A year. Haha, uh -huh, I played it first. <laughs> A uh, doggy. Yeah, there's a there's uh the guy from Sweden that moved here from Sweden. Uh, that's on the H three podcast. They were talking today about World of Warcraft, and he rem he just rem it's like a nostalgia thing from when he was a kid. He played it. He played it for like forty hours straight one time. And they asked him what when was he born, and he was born in two thousand. I'm like two thousand. Were kids actually born in 2000? <laughs> so he's only 24? I would have guessed he was... I mean, it sounds about right, but I think I would have guessed he was a little bit older. that crap out of here. It's kind of annoying when you don't want it to happen. Oh, those are all burned bodies. Oh, come on. I got up here. You have to let me go. Fine. You know what? Why the hell am I using my light? I have a fix for this. Whoa. Oh, well, that doesn't help. That's actually worse. <laughs> I don't want to make it noon because then I get burned by the sun. Maybe I could make it uh, rainy. At least I can see now. Alright, I need something to throw. Is there nothing over here? There's something. Nope. Sorry, I pressed shift to run and you can't do that when you're holding something. Are you kidding me? Hmm. 
I want to get in this building. I don't want to leave. What? Oh, hey! Whoa! Nope! Nope! I don't like that! Nope! I can't! I can't run! What do you want me to do? Okay, thank you for helping me in the building! Oh my god! I can't see! That is not what I wanted to happen! <sighs> there is nothing to throw at him! Here's something! Okay, well that's what I wanted to happen, except not how I wanted it to happen. I got the key. Oh, good, this is open. What the hell's a key for then? Can you believe it's noon and this is all the light that comes in this place? What's the key go to? Over there? I guess. Are you kidding me? Uh-oh! Not cool, bro! Shite. Come on, come on! Oh! Is he hitting me? Oh no, I just fell. Okay, we gotta clear this up. He's behind me, I think. Nope, he's right there. Alright, let's go. Let's find something to throw at him. Anything, something. Oh, okay. Oh, not fair. Come on. Can I throw this? Can I throw this? Does this, does this count? fast now. Mm. Give me it. Now where is he? There he is. Come here. No way I can hit him from that far. It doesn't go far enough. Ow! I feel like I'm playing Ark right now, running through the forest. Give me this. You have to get closer, guy. 
Oh, there he is. Come on, come here, come here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah, I got gotcha. you. So close. Okay. Oh no. It took too long. Oh, what? Oh, thank you. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. There. Charge! No! It takes so long to charge. I can't do it yet or else I take damage. Where are you? Come here, come here. No, charge, 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 charge! Shit, too far. There it is, there it is. What? Come here. Oh, he's way too far. God dang it. You gotta get closer to me, guy. See? I can't sprint when I'm holding something like that. And I can't charge it until I'm absolutely ready. Because if I charge it too long, I take damage. Uh, where are you? Way over there. Come here. Alright, I'll go over there. Now where are you? Charge, charge. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, it's probably behind me. Oh, I can't go under the bridge. Okay, where are you? 
Why are you all the way? Oh god, I can't charge it fast enough. And now he's too far away. Per kill myself. Come on. Come on, come on. Did I get him? I got him. Oh no. No, 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 no. Come on. It's already hard. Ah! It's already hard enough. Now I got friggin' dogs. Maybe the little dog will come help me. The little wolf. <gasps> there he is! Wait. Oh no, that's a big one. Okay. Okay. Running away. <laughs> How do you like that? Finish him off. Don't you come after me. <laughs> Not cool. Because I will kill you. You know that? Oh, that sound is so horrible. <laughs> You tricked me, huh? Great, now I can't see. What are you doing? Are you broken? Final battle, defeat Morvan in the Redwood. I got him. Doug? No, no dog. No more dog. It said final battle. Well, now what? My hands are all bloody, too. This looks like the same van that was out in the desert. Morvin. Alright, I guess we're going the other way. Those those battles are not easy. I don't know how I'm supposed to get out of here. Supposed to follow the water. <coughs> Am I supposed to follow the road? Is the sun gonna burn me? I don't know. Am I supposed to go this way? How can a construct of your imagination, a hallucination, how can it pick you up from one island over an endless bottom ravine into the redwoods? How does that happen if it's not real? Unless I can fly and the little robot guy hasn't told me that yet. And I imagine that he's pulling me over there, but I'm actually flying. I I imagine that we're going to get, we're going to unlock more beggar powers. This is nice. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking, but I don't know. I feel like we're closing in on the end here. It's uh, I can't imagine that was the final, final battle, but that was the, like, the main boss. So... I don't know. I need to know more lore before we finish here. Blue Hole Cave Waterfall. Redwood National Park. Is that California? Do you know?
That's the only place I know that has redwoods. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. <laughs> oh, I see what we're doing. Help, Rain, help! I wish I could stay above the water. Thank you, Rain. Don't go too far now. Thank you. You ever try to swim through a cave with one arm? See what's under here that's gonna eat my feet. Hey, where have you been? We're almost there. Our goal is under those totally safe skyscrapers. See you there, my dearest albino beggar. <laughs> Thanks, guy. Let's let's uh let's let's get rid of this. Ugh, my hair's in my eye. Ugh. I hate it. But it's not long enough to do anything else with. Like, it's not long enough to go back and be tied back. Uh, I look stupid if I part it. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. So this is what I'm doing with it at the moment. My dear albino beggar. Oh, shit. Oh, God. All right. So this is what I imagine we're doing. It'd be cool if the stars actually move. Do the stars move? They are moving a little bit. I think. Oh, thank you. <gasps> no! <laughs> I got stuck on something. <laughs> thank you for putting me right back here. hair in my eye once and I was trying to get it out couldn't get it out went to the mirror and there was a whole hair like like in my eye under my eyelid Hi, Moon. Oh, no. Hi, Moon. Are we here? I mean, can I jump uh, in the window? Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's fix this up so I can see what I'm doing. That's what we're doing. Bye. You're so lucky. Later. Sounds like basketballs. Yeah, wine zombies. Ooh, just doing that. Oh, the frames felt so good. 
I guess we're going this way. Yeah, I wouldn't trust any of this stuff I'm walking on. Like, if you step on one of the wrong boards here that's not supported, like this, you're going down. Forever. Okay, let's not worry about uh, putting the fire out in any conventional means. Let's change the weather. Nope, I'll just go over it. It's okay. Am I on fire? I'm trying not to totally destroy the rest of the world here. Eh, I see you. Hey, where'd you go? No. Hey. Was I supposed to show mercy to that guy? He been trying to brutally kill me this whole game. Just like uh, Far Cry... Is it Far Cry 4? The whole game, you're battling against pagan men. And he's being a pain the whole time. And then at the end, he brings you in. And he, they give you a gun. And he's like, you can shoot me if you want. I was like, Pshaw, done. I was done. I'm done. You're dead. It's over. And then that was not the good ending. <laughs> I shot him instantly. Did not hesitate. I, man, I hope it's on, on video somewhere around the internet. Instantly shot him. Didn't even think about it. <laughs> Apparently you're not supposed to do that. Uh, now what? You gonna get me off of here? That was a good shot too, directly in the forehead. Okay, so that one's going over there. So I need to figure out where I need to be to catch that one. Here? Well, at least this way I can watch it, see where it goes. All right, here it comes. That's Far Cry 4. I would have to, you know, it might be on one of my YouTube streams, like from way back in the day. I shot that guy as fast as possible. Are you coming over here to get me? Thank you. Seriously? How am I supposed to get there? Oh, would you look at that? The US FBI has assured has assured that after the collaboration of Albert Roeg and his team, they are closer than ever to finding the whereabouts of the imprisoned beggar whose warden tortures him by forcing him to ingest huge quantities of toxic wine. We are, I feel like we already read this somewhere else. Broadcasting the process over the internet. Javier Roeg and his team are collaborating with geomagnetic instruments created from metallic moss to help triangulate the beggar's whereabouts. They have assured that it will only take days to find him. As has been demonstrated to any viewer, the beggar's neural connection to the Earth's magnetic field increases with each bottle of wine he is forced to ingest. It is now known that it is the beggar's brain that causes strange green lights that generate static electricity in their wake. The levitation of some small objects in the desynchronization of weather and days, some lasting just minutes and others hundreds 
of ours is also caused by the beggar's brain. He, uh, no one knows what else might happen if the wine intake continues. If the authorities do not find the beggar soon, the wave of unalivings will continue. So, on um, uh, Meat Canyon, on Creepcast, has started to say sewer slide. So, the wave of sewer slides will continue to rise around the world. These sewer slides occur mostly among religious people who believe that the apocalypse has arrived. Sewer slides. Slides that are in the sewer. I mean, it makes sense. I wish I could read that. So I'm the beggar. They talking about me. Bye, Moon. See you in a few minutes. Hey, Zealand. I hate brain fog. Just woke up. I hate brain food. Just woke her up. <laughs> Uh-oh. Not going to make it. Ah! Shit. <laughs> Damn it. This is kind of weird. I don't understand exactly why this happens. Just found my hefty doppelganger. Told you we'd see you soon, Moon. Welcome back. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Come here. Last hit provoke something world changing. What have you done? Please wake up. Thanks for waking up. We are fucked. You are breaking <laughs> the world again. We can still make it. Follow me. Oh no. Thanks for waking up. We are fucked. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> Thanks for breaking the world again. I just killed my my own demon. Stop hitting me! Jump, jump, beggar! I jumped. Was I supposed to jump down? Reach your destination. Get to where you belong. Wine and beggar successfully delivered. Endeavor completed. What? No. If you thought I would fix and rescue you after your lunatic behavior, you are more insane than expected. 
Therefore, instead of healing you, I will slowly dissect what makes you so peculiar. Then we will create an improved version of you elsewhere, devoid of your dysfunctional, violent, and crazy tendencies. Get him! Get him! Sweet dreams, my dear beggar. Was I not supposed to kill that guy? Like, just what I was talking about. He tried to kill me the whole game, and I had a chance to kill him, I killed him. Just like the end of Far Cry 4. So what happens... What happens if I didn't do that? Beggar dissection ended with very promising conclusions. Defeat of the Biometal Empire on Earth now possible. Sending results to human Martian refugees. Sleeping until new orders arrive. The Biometal. Story will continue in Iron Reich? What? It seems like... Hold on. It seems like he was making these Horror Tales the Wine. And then there was supposed to be, next was supposed to be Horror Tales the Astronaut. And it seems like he canceled Horror Tales the Astronaut and went to the beggar. And now it seems like he's tied in the wine to the beggar and now is going off of that in a storyline. Made a boo-boo, but not on purpose this time. Found all of Kingdom Hearts for $60. We're going to go pay in four. Because I can handle it that way. Instead, PayPal decided it wasn't going to ask me how I would like to pay. and just went through for the full amount. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, I've never done that before, so I don't know. I've only used PayPal to pay for the whole thing before. Uh, okay, let's see what the Iron Reich looks like. Free demo coming soon. Nazis! Dude, this is gonna be a whole different gameplay. It's a trilobite. Human stepping or baby on the beach will be executed. Three additional residents will be sacrificed to dissuade similar incidents in the future. What the hell just happened? What is that fish? Wait, go back. Did that come from inside there? Three additional residents it did. will be sacrificed to dissuade similar incidents in the future. Oh, he has the beggar powers. So at the end, the drone said he was going to dissect me and recreate me somewhere else. So did he dissect me and then they recreated me wherever this is? Yeah. Uh oh, it's Transformer. <laughs> Cool. That's a, a completely different game than all the rest of the games. Uh, right about the surgical sounds. Yeah, he said he was going to dissect me. So I wonder, what if I didn't kill that, that guy at the end, end? The monster. Huh. 
Oh, it's already on my wish list. How'd that happen? There's no, oh, exterminate fascist robots in a half like, I think that's supposed to say half life style Mediterranean dystopia, cut off their power, server their sever, wait, sorry, sever their communications and eradicate their human pet collaborators. We shall be feared for we are infiltrated among them ready to strike onward to victory the partisan command so this here is a picture that was supposed to be horror tales the astronaut i bet it goes there somehow maybe he put them together i don't know interesting Took some inspiration from Half-Life. I was outside spacing off into the trees. All I heard was those noises and went, that sounds like medical tools. Yeah. Announcement, Horror Tales Astronaut evolves into Iron Reich. Oh, really? Because this was supposed to come out. I even have it. <gasps> it's gone now. So if I go to my YouTube. These are the streams that I had. That I had scheduled before. Before I went to Twitch. Here it is. Horror Tales the Astronaut. December 30th, 2022. Holy crap. Has it been that long? It's been a year and a half since that didn't come out. Amnesia Rebirth, Jalopy, Brand Bow. Wow. Uh, okay. Okay. Says it right. Where? Here? Yeah, I didn't read it. Um, so, my next thought when I finish this is probably uh, Final Fantasy tomorrow. I could probably play some tonight. But I think I want to play Death Stranding finally. Because there is a Death Stranding 2 announced. And it's not going to show on here. I'd have to look it up here, I suppose. Officially announced December 2022. Release date 2025. So yeah, I wanted to get Death Stranding in. What do you think of that? Also... I was going to say, what should I do now? But I have more, I have more demos. How do you guys feel about Scars Above? Do I need to play that anymore? What kind of demos do I have left? I've got... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I only wanted to click once. Now it's opening a game. <laughs> this game contains seizures.
I don't know what this means, but it still works, so just leave it. What the hell? It actually opened Twitter. <laughs> oh, anyway, here's, um, I found this picture of my, my 98 Roush Mustang at Estes Park. This is the, the, as you're going into Estes Park, there's this rock you can pull off and then the way that the lights coming down through the mountains just looks awesome. But yeah, I had this, I got this when I was 18 and eventually I didn't have anywhere to put it and I had to sell it and I needed the money. I think I got like 8,000 for it. I wish I had it now. All my old cars, I wish I still had. Yeah. What do you do? And then for anyone that's interested, Dr. Disrespect's gaming studio, Midnight Society, has terminated their relationship with him. On Friday evening, we became aware of an allegation against one of our co-founders, Guy Beam, a.k.a. Dr. Disrespect. We assume his innocence and began speaking with parties involved. And in order to maintain our principles and standards as a studio and individuals, we need to act. So for those of you who didn't hear, do you remember... What was it? Was it 2022? Was it 2020? I can't remember now, but basically, no, it was when Mixer was still around. So it might have been even older than that. Dr. Disrespect just got a huge deal from Twitch to stream exclusively on Twitch and not go to YouTube or Mixer or anything like that. It was like just announced. And then, very shortly after, he was banned permanently from Twitch. And no one ever found out why. Until recently, within the last couple days, I think, it's not like 100% proven beyond a reasonable doubt, but it seems like he was exchanging inappropriate messages with minor girls on Twitch's whispers. And he was trying to meet up with this girl at TwitchCon. And that's basically the gist of it. So in case you didn't hear that yet and you care. So this game is called... Just quick news update there, I guess. This one is called Dr. Finkelstein's Marvelous Room. And it is a... It is a demo that I still have from NextFest. Um, so don't, if you're in confinement and an AI drone comes to save you and you think it's there to save you, I don't think it's actually there to save you as we found out. Also, To avoid that situation, you could subscribe for $5 or you could subscribe for free by connecting an Amazon Prime account to a Twitch account. And then you won't have to see the ads and you can also join my private satisfactory server for subscribers only. Otherwise, you got to be gift, get gifted a sub. So here's a three minute ad break that'll shut off pre-roll ads for the next hour. Um, and give me like two minutes here. I'm gonna take a real quick break. Cause I hear Will in the house now. And last time I talked to him, he was outside with his friends. So I will be right back. Let me, uh, just pull up some quick music for you. So you're not sitting here in silence.
it I clicked pause three times okay and we hear this song every time so let's skip to the next one do, 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 do. Do, 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 and I'll be right back. And we're back. We're still in the same song. I beat I beat the ad break. Okay. Perfect. Perfect timing. All right. What do we do with this game? Hey, thanks for agreeing to try out our new game. It's a little experimental, but the idea is that the world is about to end. And you gotta help this scientist complete his experiment to try and prevent the apocalypse. The experiment involves items being added into a room. You'll figure out the rest. Click on the May OS injection utility and press begin injection when you're ready to start good luck and have fun ray so may os this one here this is kind of cool oh this one is this locked can i see it access denied settings <laughs> this is pretty cool 100% ultra, ultra that stuff. What are you doing? All right, 
right, let me turn down the audio. Subtitle size extra big. All right, now my audio is all the way up. Still seems loud. Perfect. Extras? Wallpaper? What? What? <laughs> I could use the wallpaper on. Uh. Wait. Can I put my own? Wait. Paste. Paste image. Wait. 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 Oh, image URL. Wait. I have an idea. Uh, where would it be? It'd be in here. Steam overlay. Okay. That's it. Or stream overlay. So. Copy. Paste. Oh no. Can I drag it? No. Okay. Properties. Wait, what if I do this? The path? Folder path. Okay, so let's try a URL. Um, let's try... Okay, I got one. Hold on, let's do it this way. Why doesn't it work? Dang it. Okay, sorry. That, all right, we'll leave it at that. I I can't get it. Okay, anyway, let's play. Begin injection. So it kind of seems like it's going to be a puzzle game, which is cool. It's just the one that was on the top of my list on my desktop. And I tried to click it so I could see the full name. And you know, sometimes when you click something, you accidentally click it twice. <laughs> like you had a finger malfunction or something. That seems a little loud. Ah, what the hell? Hold on, pause. Okay, and we're back. Am I supposed to stop? Oh my god, hold on, sorry. It's too much. It's too much for me. Oh no, where's controls? Here it is. Two. Like, am I supposed to do something about this? No, okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, I hope this game's funny. Bifrost? What? <laughs> okay. Atrium? Is 
already funny right there. North Research. Atrium? Alright. It seems like it's going to be funny already. Leno's Ice Cold Drinks. It's locked. Let me know if the music or sound effects or anything's too loud. The Marvelous Room Experiment. Do not touch. I want to touch it. I believe that the nation should commit itself to achieving the goal. Before this decade is out, a landing of land. Okay. <laughs> I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on Mars and returning him safely to the earth. JFK 1961. Yeah. Well, the United States kind of gave up on space after not long after somebody was on the moon. And now SpaceX is taking over. What is happening? Is that what what? South Launch Bay. Oh, I saw somebody. Oh, oh, these are crash dummies. A kitty kitty. What is happening to the pictures? Oh, the faces are all missing. The faces are all missing except for Dr. Finkelstein or whatever his name is. Map Labs, Coolant Reservoir 1, Coolant Reserve. Restrooms, West Rocket Testing. <laughs> Why is the bathroom locked? Basement four. Iron ear protection required. Whoops, I missed. Are you guys real? Why can't I see anyone's faces? Oh, this looks kind of like portal. Can't see. Look at my blue one. 
Oh, hey. Greetings. I am indeed Dr. Finkelstein. Is that really loud? Keep turning stuff down, it doesn't seem to work. And I welcome you to the marvelous room. If you are, in fact, here to participate in this experiment, kindly proceed to the designated safe space in the center of the room and pull the lever on the podium. Excellent. Under normal circumstances, this is where I'm supposed to read a comprehensive safety disclaimer for all experiments conducted within our facilities. But as you're probably aware, we're running dangerously low on time. If the board still tries to get me for not reading it at this point, well, or frankly, oh, to hell with them. To begin the instruction demonstration, pull the lever on the podium. I already did that. Your instructions as a participant are as follows. Pull the lever again, and an item with the description given on the projector will be added to the room. A delicious slice of cheese, suggested by question mark. Your duty is to verify the described function of any items added within the marvelous room. Should it be a couch, your task is to ensure its suitability for sitting. In the case of a firearm, ensure that it is capable of firing and so forth. So if it's a delicious cheese, I'm supposed to eat it. Upon successful verification, pull the lever in the middle of the room and the next item will be added. This lever will only function while you are within the safe space designated on the floor. That was a lot of cheese. I mean, I would have eaten it too, but most people don't eat that much cheese like I do. Look at my blue one. One eye. That's very good. Come here what? closer. Look at my. Look at my blue one eye. Blue oh. one eye. That's very good. Come here closer. Look at my nipples. Look at me. Put it beside look at my you. My nipple. <laughs> That's very good, babe. Okay, your turn. He's so nice and supportive. I love it. This her is gonna be just like super amazing. Babe, I'm not kidding. I'm impressed. Here. No, here. You got to get my face. Oh. Damn. Record me while you turn it around. <laughs> That's wild. That looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> I'm so surprised. Mine looks really good. <laughs> yeah. Look at my blue one eye. <laughs> That's funny that she laughed at it instead of getting angry. What's next? Good. Oh, the Marjorie I'll Taylor Green. The oh, it was a picture of Marjorie Taylor Green. <laughs> I see the resemblance. Facilities camera systems as well as through the side window, situated at the furthest wall of the chamber. When you're ready to begin the experiment, pull the lever, and the first item will be added. Pin a valve into Finkelstein's head, suggested by Elijah. Participant, please pull the lever on the podium. Uh, I did. Participant. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, participant, did you pull the...
I do yeah. apologize. He has a valve in his eye. Participant, please continue. <laughs> Ready. Go. A larger than usual magician hat placed upside down containing a plushie of a rabbit holding a smaller magician hat containing an even smaller plushie of a rabbit holding an even smaller magician hat containing etc. Suggested by Sioku. Item number two added successfully. It appears that the equipment was not critically damaged during the materialization process of item number one, which was a potential concern. Oh, look at that. Hmm. This is an esoteric item, to say the least. We should expect a fair amount of variability in the objects in these trials moving forward. And before we move on, I'd like to apologize for my conduct during the previous test. Such unprofessional behavior stands in the way of achieving great science. It will not happen again. You may pull the lever when ready. Am I supposed to verify that this works? Okay. Item number three, a copy of a book called How to Win at Video Games, signed by William P. Dinger II, the totally real book and author, suggested by Dem Apples. Video games? We have no time for mindless entertainment. We have a world to save. Participant, please ensure the book contains words. How to Win at the Video Game by William P. Dinger. P. Dinger? P. Dinger? I don't know. Before you read, video games are not a joke. They are not a fad. They are not just for kids. Video games are the highest and greatest form of entertainment humanity has ever created. They are a serious sport and an art form and should be treated as such. Thinking otherwise is proof... You're an absolute maniac, a buffoon, and deserve insert creative punishment here. Keep in mind that while video games can be fun and entertaining for many people, they are to be taken very seriously. Do make sure that while you have fun playing video games, you also keep near you one, this book. Two, fire extinguisher. You never know. Three, a bag of chips in case you get the tummy rumblies. Four, easy access to the World Wide Web. Five, a jar. What's the jar for, you might ask? It could be used for a lot of things. Maybe you have to pee. Forgetting to grab any of these items result may result in a non-optimal gaming experience and could lead to you turning to other experiences such as knitting having a nine to five job or worst of all being extorted by other worldly entities forcing your game developer friends into carrying out bizarre and unexplainable actions <clears throat> chapter one Understanding the game. When you first begin a game, you must understand it. Learning the controls is the easiest way to do so. Most games will have their controls shown in the settings menu, in the pause menu, or maybe even the manual if you have one. If all else fails, however, begin spamming every button on your device. That's what I'd do. This will ensure you understand how to play cause one of these buttons surely has to do something at some point at something at some point if this doesn't work make sure your controller slash keyboard is plugged in and while you're at it make sure the console is plugged in too <laughs> if you are a pc gamer make sure when you start spamming every key possible 
To also spam every button on your mouse, make sure just make sure you don't press the wrong keys or buttons. What are the wrong keys or buttons? They're the buttons you shouldn't push, of course. <laughs> if all methods fail and you've done everything you can, start this chapter over and try again. Chapter 2, Playing the Game. Now that you've gotten through those pesky instructions, it's time to get playing. As a true gamer always knows, searching up a walkthrough on the internet and clicking the first result is the fastest and easiest way to play a game. A walkthrough is a 1 to 14 hour long video of someone playing the game start to finish. This should give you all the prerequisites a prerequisite knowledge of what to expect in your playthrough. Once you have watched a walkthrough to your game begin, beginning to end, you're ready to start playing. Important note, if the walkthrough for your game of choice is longer than 14 hours, then it is a fake game. <laughs> Let's begin. First, make sure if the game has a difficulty setting that it's set to the easiest option possible. From here, the walkthrough you watched should give you all the necessary tips and tricks you need to complete the game. Prepare to glue yourself to your seat and begin playing for hours. What's that? Have a life? You're hungry and want something other than chips? What are you, weird? <laughs> These are the sacrifices you must make when committing yourself to gaming on extraordinary levels. This is what gamers refer to as the zone. Enjoy it while it lasts. Chapter 3, Finishing Your Game. Like all good things in life, there is always an end. Not always. Not when you play games like Apex Legends or Fortnite or Call of Duty. Duty. When the walkthrough is finished and the credits screen is upon you, that means it is the end. Not nah, okay. <laughs> to demonstrate <coughs> what this will feel like, we will be ending this chapter here. Chapter 3.5 Finishing Your Game Continued. When the game is over, you now have a decision to make. You can either continue to play games by choosing another one, or get out of this hobby while you still have the chance. If you decide to stay, then congratulations. You get to read this book from beginning from the beginning again. If you're leaving this hobby behind, then so be it. I can't stop you. But I'd like to recommend some other ways to spend the little time you still have left on this earth. 1. Pray that the cosmic entity racing toward our solar system is actually going to a different star. 2. Fear the inevitable. Chapter 4. Gaming time. It's gaming time. Grab some gamer fuel, extreme energy from the fridge, and undecipherable year of the G. <laughs> Note, this last 267 pages are just the phrase, we are forever gaming, looping repeatedly. Okay. Got it. Item number four, at least one box with jiggle physics. The doctor does not understand it and thinks it's a hallucination, but it's all too real. Suggested by Kate B. All right, let's get some jiggle physics. Participant, I have to apologize. It seems that we're having another technical malfunction involving addition of items to the marvelous room. One moment. It's just as I thought. Item number four has failed to materialize. And as if things couldn't get any worse, I believe I'm beginning to hallucinate. Very vividly hallucinate. A large jiggly cube. It's probably the valve. I think it's disrupting my blood flow. Please continue. <laughs> This is fun. This is a pretty cool jiggle box. I wish I had one. 
All right, you can go right there. Uh, let's not forget our book. What if I put the book on top? Boink, boink. Perfect. Item number five, a gray metallic bucket with unknown properties suggested by the pink hacker. No! Bloody hell! What on earth is that? Uh, Wait, this is the safe area. The what on earth is going on? Oh my god! What is what on earth is going on? Quick, what is what, what is oh. Item number five added successfully. Pull the lever. You knocked over my jiggle box. Maybe it goes on the plate. And where's my book? Oh no. No, my book! Oh, 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 I had it. Yes. Very important. I have a feeling this is going to come into play later. Item number six, a whiteboard containing a list of every single rejected idea submitted. Suggested by Armed Turret. Item number six added successful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, sorry, sorry to interrupt this whole thing. Um... The following two minutes and 20 seconds have been Stricken from the cannon. And you are? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm Dr. Langley. Um, I'm with the secretary for the board of directors. Redacted. Get out? <laughs> mm. Uh, yeah, sorry, I no can do. Um, the board had a very specific agreement for the terms of this, uh, this little experiment. Uh, today's experiment is merely a demonstration of the capabilities of the room. And, um, as such, it will only include five items. That's what we agreed on. Uh, based on what we've seen so far, um, minus the little <laughs> kerfuffle with the bucket, um, yeah, I'm sure they'd be on board to greenlight another five items, maybe? Wait, 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 hold on. We have hours left before our entire solar system is obliterated. You realize that, right? Listen, I, I understand your frustrations, Gumfrey. Um, can I call you Gumfrey? He keeps going. Um... Listen, I understand your frustrations. <laughs> it's Finkelstein. Listen, Gumfrey. Uh, if Gumfrey. we don't keep all our ducks in a row, it's going to cause us a lot more problems down the road. So if you could just... Down the road! Participant, please excuse me for a moment. <laughs> Safe spot. Critical error. Center control panel offline. Manual override panel offline. Resolving. Adding all items into DFMR. Dr. Finkelstein's marvelous room. DFMR. Well, that was cool. That was fun. Scroll down for credits. This is how credits should be. <laughs> All right. I like it. Uh, 
Let's add that one. Perfect. All right. We got some more demos. Let me see what we got now. Well, how do I choose? How do I choose? How do I choose? We have Chocolate Factory Simulator demo, which is not the same one that I played the other day. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Farmer's Dynasty. Tiny Glade. I don't remember what some of these are. Oh, the demo's gone. Okay. Well, I guess we should go through and get rid of all the ones that I can't play anymore. We can play that one. We can play that one. We can play that one. <sighs> kind of want to do this one. Chocolate Factory, Simulator, Bus Bro. Oh, this is the underwater one. Oh, this one, the demo's gone. Okay. We'll get rid of that one. Gym Knights. Haunted Bloodlines. Hollow Body. Oops, that's not a demo. This is a demo. Oh, this one's no good. Lurch. Lurch is no good. Photography, no good. Machinica. What's this one? An indie puzzle game. Okay. I don't know that I'm feeling puzzles at the moment. Medieval Crafter Blacksmith Demo. Merciful Flames. That one's no good. Midnight Crimes. That one's still good. Mother Hub. That one's still good. No Return. Dang it. I wanted to play that one, kind of. Quiet Things. Okay, that one's good. Red Entropy Ribbon. I don't know. It says update. It doesn't say I can't play it. Uh, Self Floss. Scare Ritual. Soul Drifter. The Stock Demo. Tiny Glade. We'll update that too and see if it's any good. Unforgotten's good. Unheim. Year unknown. Okay. Uh, so it was Riven, which is almost done. Tiny Glade. Okay, that one's still good. Come on, I just want to know if it's still good. What was I going to do? Oh, Closer the Distance. Let's do that one. Almost done. 91, 93, 95, 98, 100. Okay, still good. Perfect. Uh, closer the distance. Whoops, I forgot to change my go live notification. Eh. 
All right. I'm not convinced. I know it's silly, sis, and it doesn't solve a thing. But whenever I feel like everything's getting too loud, I just close my eyes and listen. It calms me, the knowledge that even at this hour, even here in Yesterby, Yesterby? there is always something going on that isn't about me. I then open my eyes and take it all in. Isn't it wonderful? The air, the ocean, our homes like flotsam, washed up on a beach at the end of the world. Gallia coming home late from the clinic. Melville's hammer doing a late night shift in his workshop. Nothing ever stands still. That's it. I'm making dinner. What about Angie? She can have the leftovers for all I care. She really didn't tell you where she went, Connie? No, but she said she'd be home for dinner. Even when she's not here, she has to make everything about herself. That's not who she is. Did she Bing forget bong. her keys? It's not locked. Who is it? Hun? Oh, that foolish girl. Huh. Looks like your sister robbed a bank or something. Concordia, go to your room, please. Why? I'm not going to repeat myself. What's going on? Um, hi there. Uh-oh. That's not good. Go listen. Angie? Are you back? There are police at the door. Mom seems scared. Scared and really angry. Where are you? Why are you still not home? Oh no, that doesn't seem good at all. Look at you, all cramped up. I'm probably just hanging out with Zek at the beach. You didn't want to see anyone today. I didn't? You told me this morning. Remember this morning. Morning. Hey. Mom won't buy me new buttons. She said, 
I would only use them as eyes on new plushies. She wants me to grow up so? and make sweaters instead. Well, the winter will get cold. I've made enough sweaters this year. And I am grown up. It's she who keeps treating me like a child. To be fair, in her generation, plushies were just for kids. I don't care about the plushie. I just want to make something complex. Like like a wild chimera with two heads. Or a Bavarian Wolpertinger. <laughs> what did Dad say? <laughs> he laughed and said he would help me name it. But it doesn't need a name. It's just a toy. They're being so simple. Well... I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that one by yourself, without me. Where are you going? I don't know yet. Can I come with you? Better not. I'm in a pretty foul mood today. I have an appointment with Galia later. Everyone else will have to wait for a better day. I should be home for dinner, though. Oh, okay. I'll start work on the Wolpertinger, then. All that raw wool on my shelf, it needs to be made into something. Something with antlers, two rabbit paws, and a beak. <laughs> Mom will freak out when she sees that thing. I'll try not to be too late. Raw wool. I like that. See you this evening, sis. I'm almost finished drawing the design. So where are you? I'm right here, aren't I? You're not. Uh, okay, let's try not to freak out. Come on, take my hand. You're shaking, sis. Try to close your eyes and do what you always do. What do you hear? Mom shouting. Okay, no closed eyes then. Let's focus on something in my room. Something we can hold on to. We may even find a clue as to what the hell's happening. I don't believe she's not down there, you know, at least not down there, but trying to hear what they're saying. Can you walk where I tell you to? Oh, I can move it this way. Camera bag, consider. Your camera bag is empty. Of course it is. The sunlight down the coast was near perfect today. Generosity from the heavens, as mom would say. Maybe I went out to take some pictures of the view. Hmm. I doubt it. Family portrait. Mom's sermon had been so boring our faces went all numb afterwards. Perfect timing for a family pic. <laughs> you still look happier here than the last couple of weeks. Laptop. You were writing a poem before you went out? The town resounds, the ocean just glistens, everything grinds, nothing ever listens. The tide never minds, the dawn never wanders, for the closer the distance, the distance it, I don't know, ponders, squanders, whatever I had in mind, I never finished it. Seriously, so I was never on. good with endings. Connie? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Connie? Yeah? Would you mind coming down for a moment? No. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. When the cops show up at your door like that, somebody died. If she would have been arrested, they wouldn't be showing up at the door like that. Um, she would be calling from jail. Either she died or someone died or somebody got hurt really bad. There was a time when I was a kid, I was like six or seven, when my dad was in a farming accident and we, me and my mom and my sister were out of town. We were up close to Chicago at uh, my aunt's house and my dad was at home harvesting and the cops showed up at the house to tell my mom that 
he'd been in an accident and then he was in the hospital and we went to see him in the hospital and he was unresponsive I guess and I don't remember seeing him conscious again until he came home and it had been so long it was like a month I remember it had been so long that when I saw him I was like like kids when they see someone they don't know like a family member they don't really know they're kind of scared of them and I remember like being scared of him <laughs> um, but also his eyes were super dark red too because he got smashed under something and I, I, rem I don't know if this is true but I remember them telling me that the pressure smashed his blood up towards his head and his eyes were super dark red um, so anyway, all that to say, I think somebody died or is hurt pretty bad. Is there anything else I can do in here? Dad. Axel? Oh, Angie. I'm sorry. I just wanted to fetch your sister. Connie? What were you doing in Angela's room? Looking for clues. Uh, hold on. I can... I wish I could see him better. Is there a way to... Oh, what? Look at that. Oh, cool. Okay. It's so... It's so sensitive. Can I... Camera movement sensitivity. Let's try that. Rotation can go up. That's pretty good. So I can hug. I was waiting for Angie. What's wrong? What's going on? A Angie. She's... Dead? Connie, your sister. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? Dad? What'd I say? He doesn't seem to hear me. Get out of my house! Wait here. Should we follow him? The cops? Oh, Dad. That brought me downstairs. This is upstairs. Can I can I do the cops are out there walking to their police car. Right here. Um it seems like I need to go. Oh, it says left click walk. Oh, double click. Can I go in here? Is there nothing to see in here? Okay, let's go downstairs. Uh, hold on. I would like to raise the rotation. I would also like to... Raise the music a touch. A little much. Let's try that. Alright, let's go downstairs. Well, let's get on with it. Pia? What are Pia. you doing? I'm making dinner. Where are the police? I asked them to leave. My angel would never take her bike down the coast at this hour. And she told the police, get out of my house. They're just letting you know, okay? They're just the messengers. Would you mind getting me some fresh potatoes from the pantry? Oh, hon. We need to tell Connie. I'm right here. You talking about me like I'm not standing behind you. Mom, 
What's going on? Connie, would you mind setting the table, dear? Dinner will be ready soon. We have to make ourselves heard. Or is that wrong? Would it be better to give her time? I kind of think give her time. Dad? Dad? Oh, Dad's Axel. Alright, let's set this. Oh, I can break the plates? No, let's set the table. I'm sure those officers only meant well, but they don't know her like I do. Let's give her time. Wait, where where's the pantry? Can I get the bit? Whoa, look at this. This is cool. There's wood here. There's a window. Oh, she'll be so hungry when she's back. The stove is wood fire. Dad. Connie, it's. I. Is this the pantry? What's up, Malik? Told myself I'm gonna relax with gaming when I start school, and I get an email that says Why are Meta you still Quest, standing? Meta Quest VR, be Batman. Wait, is it Meta? Is that Facebook? Batman VR. There. What did the police say? Maybe this is the pantry. Potatoes? Y'all got some potatoes? Looks like the laundry room. Where's the damn pantry? Is this it? Is this it? MetaQuest is a company that makes VR. Oh! I'll say this though, when Life is Strange 4 comes out, I'm playing that shit. Well, you know, you don't have to. You could come here and watch it. <laughs> no, I don't expect you to to do that. That's a big one. Well, you're going to have to make sure that you play it and then come here because you'll probably be ahead of me. So then come here and then help me um, like find secrets and make decisions and stuff. What's this guy say? What does this guy say? This is huge news. There's a Christian church on. By land in heaven. Oh, give me a friggin' break. That's as loud as it gets. Gonna play at night, first day it comes out. Uh, I know I put it in my... Let me just look. October something something. It's like a Tuesday, right? October... No, that's Silent Hill. Wait. Oh, Life is Strange is the 29th. It is Tuesday. Silent Hill comes out three weeks before that. So I'll be playing Silent Hill. Life is Strange the 29th on a Tuesday. Well, I'll be playing it the day it comes out. <coughs> For sure. I like playing Life is Strange at night. One episode every night. I bought it on Green Man Gaming, just waiting for them to get the key for it. Is it was it cheaper? I got Resident Evil Village on Green Man Gaming. Life is Strange Double Exposure. Ten bucks cheaper. And no taxes. So it's 50 here. So it'd be 40? Hmm. And they give you a Steam key, so. Oh, look, Malik wants this game. And my other friend. Uh, okay. Well, I'll have to remember to look into that. I got eight dollars and forty cents in my Steam wallet because I spent I spent thirteen dollars on Chain Together so we could play it. We could all play it. 
All right, buy land in heaven from $100 a square meter. This is huge news. There's a Christian church out there selling land plots in heaven. The church is selling these plots starting out at $100. And you can pay in installments. And there's already been millions of dollars collected by the church. The church is named the Church of End Times. And its leader claimed that in 2017, he had a meeting with God. And God authorized the sale of plots near God's palace. Even offering mortgages on this land and it guarantees you a spot in heaven regardless of the size plot that you buy. Could this possibly be one of the biggest real estate deals on the planet? I want your thoughts in the comments below. No, it's not on the planet. Follow me for more stocks, tech, and investing. Don't tell me there's people actually doing that. That doesn't even, that's not even how you do it if you're a Christian. <clears throat> uh, so I bought it for me, Dishonest, and Zalen. I got it for Dishonest because... I, I owed him a, a birthday game. Um and it was only four forty nine, so I was like, you know what? I'll just do it. So it was twelve thirteen fifty, it was thirteen fifty. And I had I had like thirty dollars in my Steam wallet, so I just did it. We beat the game in two days though. It took us like just under five hours, I think. If heaven is real, it doesn't have any need for materialistic things like money. Also, the deals are out of this world. Such a good deal. You can just buy a place in heaven and then you can just, you don't have to be good. You can just kill people and, and rob stuff and be a horrible person. But you already bought your plot in heaven, so you're all good. Is that how it works? I, so, oh, it can't be. She, she would never. Did it Maybe. reset my settings or what? It's super fast again. Camera movement sensitivity. We should go sit down. Holy crap. Yes. Come on, Connie. Do I have to? I think you should. So we're about to find out. Something happened to her sister. She didn't come I'm home. I'm dead, aren't I? And the police were at the door. In case you missed the beginning. Oh, that's the fire. Look at that. There's the fireplace. Here's the wood. And it goes into the kitchen, too, so you can cook on wood in the kitchen. That's pretty awesome. All right, here we go. What do you think happened? So all we know is the police came to the door and I said, when the police come to your door, either somebody died or there's been an accident and somebody's really hurt. And then after I told my story, I unpaused it and dad was upstairs and said, there's been an accident. Chain together is kind of addicting in my opinion, but the game contributes to my W key issues. What's wrong with your W key? It doesn't work. If I was playing it and I had to start at the beginning every time, I would not. I would not have played it very much. Has a drift issue? Oh. So, uh, <laughs> the police came by to talk to us. Here we go. Keep in mind that they're still in shock. So it's just words. Unprocessed. Inconclusive. Raw wool. That's not how kids are thinking. Hell, I don't even know if I would have thought of that as an adult. They can't hear me like you can, and are probably assuming the worst. It's our job to take that wool for them, and weave it into something coherent. Are you paying attention, Loom? Listen to me, and everything will be fine. Everything will make sense. Wait, she's talking to her sister. She was asking her stuff and her sister was talking to her. I assume that was just like in her mind. But is her sister dead and she's actually talking to the ghost of her sister? I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> can you do <clears throat> that? Connie? Yes. I can do that. You can do what? See? I can listen.
Don't tell me that the demo's over. We're not going to get to here. The house is huge. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. You suck. <laughs> Dang, I like this one too. Oh, are we not done yet? Thank you all for coming on such short notice. Uh, last night at roughly 1030, Angela was involved in an accident. She was riding her bike out of town when she was hit by a car. Damn. Oh, what? God. Damn. Is she all right? No. Come on, answer her question. Is she all right or isn't she? The driver called an ambulance, but they arrived too late. Too late? Don't... Too late for what? So, they were ending... Like, I thought the demo was going to end there, and we wouldn't know what happened to her. And now I'm feeling like, spoiler alert, maybe this happens right at the beginning of the game, but... I don't know. What are you talking about? Stop mincing words. If something's happened to her, just say it. It means the Lord has taken my angel back under his wing. Oh, screw you all. Son, stay away from me. Poor Zach. Give him a moment, Bean. I know we are all still hurting from the last time something like this happened. Once again, try to be there for each other. That also includes giving each other space where it's needed. Zek? Z-E-K? Oh, yeah, I am so sorry. How is that even possible? I'm sorry, I can't be here any longer. Honey, the arrangements. We can do that inside. I need to sit down. Blanche, Jasper? Here. Do you have a minute? Of course. Everybody's got weird Thank names. Thank you all for being here. I'll be at the clinic all day, making calls on Pia and Axel's behalf. The clinic? If you want to talk or have any questions. I used to be there a lot. Feel free to drop by at any time. It might even be the last place I went to before the accident. Let's ask Gallia about it soon. My memory is a bit clogged. We should also look for Zek. Whoa. He didn't look too good when he ran off. Zek took the news badly. We should look for him. Wishes show what a character wants to achieve or desires. Click on a wish to see what they can do about it. Unpause. Click the pause button when you want to. Do. Any character you give a task will then pursue it as soon as they can. Something's going on with Gay Gal Galia. We should find and talk to her. Zek Melville. How about this one? She's closer. Zex a long way. Let's go to her first. Ask her about Angela's visit. It's fine. I can look after Eli. Thanks, Lee. Wait, these are all the people. Oh my god. It's it's a little bit like the Sims kinda. Sleep, hunger, routine, solitude, harmony. This one's got sleep, hunger, occupation, remembrance, uplift. This character cannot be guided by you. You see, you can see how they feel and what they think though. Click on a highlighted character to select them. I had no idea this was going to be this in depth. I, from the beginning in the house, I kind of thought it was just going to be like you, you control her, you go out, 
you know, into the world somewhere and, you know, go on a quest to find out what really happened to your sister or something like that. This is interesting. Sleep, hunger, protection, backing, preservation. Wait, did he have one? We need to figure out the arrangements. We need to keep... I need to keep myself busy or I'll become useless and fail them even more. Pia, that's mom. So this is dad. Oh, what is this? Overwhelmed, depressed. I am longing. Mom is distraught. What's this? History. Attended the gathering on the morning after my accident. Why does it say after my accident? Are we seeing this as the sister? Calm down after a while. Learned about my... Oh, learned about my death. Calm down after a while. Attended the gathering. What's this? Relationships. Oh my gosh. Good relationship. Okay relationship. Okay. Wow. So we're going to go see this lady right now. She has guilty conscience. Why? Did she hit, a, hit her with the car? Vulnerable. So we should talk to her while she's vulnerable. Sleep, hunger, diligence, health, loyalty, resilience. I must take care of all the paperwork for Pia and Axel. They need me now more than ever. Pia and Axel will need to drive to the mortuary. I hope Jasper will lend them his car. All of the names are kind of weird. When I, uh... Oh, non-guidable characters. Can I, okay, that's the same. When I was little, I don't even know, first, second grade, I remember playing with my friend at his house, and we'd like we'd like come up with our like names, different names to call each other when we're playing in the barn and doing stuff we're not supposed to and get hurt and stuff. And my name was always Axel. Lee, Lee, Lai, Lay, Lay, blue. Wait, what? Somber, blue. Depressed, powerless. <laughs> Powerless is a battery with just a little bit of red in the bottom. Sleep, hunger, fun, self-care, nurture. Moved to yesterday three years ago to live with Gala, a quirky mother, giant nerd, and in charge of the greenhouse. Learned about my death. Attended the gathering. Okay, so we're going to go see this lady now. Um, she has a good relationship with me. All right, let's just go. There's too much. This is this is too cool. Play. No problem. Uh, pause. To take a look inside buildings, simply click it from any distance. Oh, she's in my house. Okay. I can't believe it. Did you know? Hey, who are you? Stop following me. And it's Thank also, you for coming. Of course. It's also eight forty five in the morning. This is pretty cool. And Bingo was his name. -o. And Bingo was his She'll name. -o. Right could you? Wait, honey. Could she go here. I'm sorry. I'm feeling a bit dizzy. Ask her about Angela's Dahlia, visit. Could you? We were wondering if the car is available today. Pia and Axel have an appointment at the coroner's office later. Well, I guess I could drive. How long would it take? I have an important call with the investors later today. I'm sure they'll understand if you postpone it under these circumstances. I can try. While you're gone, I can look after the sheep. That's better. When do you have to leave? As soon as possible. Did she say the sheep? <sighs> I need to shoot them an email first before I can take you. That's all right. Hearth. Pia has to give them another call and collect some clothes first anyway. 
They'll come by your house once they're ready. My baby. Honey? Connie? Has anyone seen Connie? I'm standing Don't right worry, next to she's you. She's here. Stupid. I'll check on her while you're gone. <laughs> All right. Oh Everyone no. knows what to do? Wait, Thanks, is that though. me? <laughs> My little loom. Hey, Ask Mom. Ask her about Angela's visit. Your dad and I have to go into town for a short while. Auntie Galia will look after you. Galia. So be good. And don't cause any trouble, you hear? Thanks, Lee. We'll be back later. Love you. My little loom. This is serious. Galia hasn't been our auntie since we were little kids. At least she's not the type to hug us out of nowhere. You want to head over to our place and have tea and cinnamon buns with Lee? I'm not hungry. Thank you. And if you're trying to keep me busy, you don't have to. I have... So it just turned 10 o'clock. You can't see it up in the top left. And the clock went off. Things to do already. That sounds important. Better not tell her. She wouldn't understand. You'd think I was crazy if I told you. Try me. Don't. I could talk to her about a lot of things, but some stuff she just wouldn't want to hear. My ghost helping you would be one of those. Can I ask you a question? They just, she just said my ghost. The dead sister's ghost. I saw you at the clinic yesterday. Did she say anything to you about why she wanted to leave here? I'm afraid that falls under doctor-patient confidentiality. Good question, sis. Please, don't make it any harder than it already is. Who's this? At least promise me you won't get yourself into trouble. That's this girl. River. Isolated, gloomy, sleep, hunger, impact, chill, recognition, empathy. Angela's best friend. Oh, so, so it's my sister's best friend who grew slightly estranged to her in the end. They made so many plans yet barely saw any of them through. What about, we didn't read her. Galia. Athletic, dedicated, and constantly worried. Galia, short for Galena, is Yesterby's chronically overworked physician and Pia's best friend from childhood days. Okay. I got a new... Th I got a new thing here. Uh, everyone's so upset. Let's find a way to comfort them. Oh my gosh. This feels like this is going to take forever. All right. Put me back in the house. Why did you put me out here? I've got to go. Bye. Wait, did we figure out anything? Highlighted objects. Click the magnifying glass button. No, I wasn't done reading it. An important event is happening at this character. and time has been paused. Click the notification icon to jump straight to them. That's this girl standing behind me. Magnifying glass button to highlight objects the selected character can interact with. Chair? What's this? Connie? Hey, River. Hello? I'm calling from Yesterby. Am Mom? I speaking you, with the mortician? You want to hang out? Yes, I'm it's her mother. It's okay if you don't want to. Oh, I forgot don't to ask something obligated. earlier. Mom, we're talking in here. Can you not be so loud? I just want you no. to know that if you need no, someone I don't. to pull you away for a while, yes, about just the clothes. Ask. Okay? Yes. Okay. May I ask who is going to dress her? Yes? Oh, I got crying. Unsettled. So I need to talk to Zek next. What's going on here? Pia and Axel, okay. I must take care of the paperwork for Pia and Axel. They need me now, okay. Where to, oh, that's what she's doing. But what's her? How far away is that? Oh, geez. Mm. 
What a mess. How is everyone? What do you think? Right. Should I put on some tea? Uh, not for me. There's still a lot I need to take care of. It's amazing how you can go on like that. I just... Is that her? And I wasn't yeah. as meshed with her as you. You were even closer to her than her mom. I was just her doctor. She was just her doctor. And I'm just going to run a 60 second ad break because I just realized that the pre-roll timer has been out and I don't know how long. And I'm going to be done with this as soon as we get through this here. Um, so a 60 second ad break. That'll shut off the pre-roll ads for the next 20 minutes, which hopefully I'll be done by then. If you don't want to see them, you can subscribe. You can do it for $5 or you can do it for free. If you connect any Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you'll have a free subscription every month. Then you don't have to see ads and you can join my private satisfactory server and play with us for subscribers only. The only other option is you're going to have to get gifted a sub, which doesn't happen very often, but maybe you can talk someone in chat into it. Make friends with people. Maybe. Here's the 60 second ad break. Oh, Malik, are you still here? If you want to do me a favor, look after the plants for today. I'll be home as fast as I can. Okay. Hang in there, gorgeous. Are they... Are they gay? Okay. So, next. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I want to go to my house? Oh. I'll wait. I'll wait till it's over. Let me in the house. I want to look at... You can jump and follow the selected character around by clicking their portrait. Wait. Oop. Hearth. Light? I'm lighting the hearth. Take a book, read a book. Dude, this is like... This is like Sims. Select a character cannot perform the grayed out interactions right now. This may be due to the time of day or other circumstances. Try again later. What is this hearth doing to me? I don't see that it's helping. Can I put it out? I cannot. Okay. Let's go find Zek. Look at this place. Uh, Zek, Zek, Zek. This guy? Yeah. Don't listen to them. She can't be gone. None of this is real. Alright. Ed is over. Um, I came across a picture of my, my old Roush Mustang. And it's right here. This is at where you're coming into Estes Park. Colorado and there's my car a, a nice photo opportunity but I don't have it anymore I sold it and now I want it back <laughs> I want all the old cars I had back I had a 92 Camaro I had this Roush Mustang I had a Cobra Mustang I had his 1967 Mustang that in black would be cool as fuck yeah, I didn't like the yellow when I got it. I just got it because it was a Roush. And the yellow grew on me after a while because people definitely notice you driving by. And I put a I put a supercharger. I put a pro charger on it. Anyway, that's all. <laughs> As you came in later, didn't get to see it. All right, let's go talk to the Zek. Oh wait, what's going on here? Are you ready? Uh-huh. Oh, come here. She'll wear her blue dress. She always liked that one, didn't she? She did. Her blue dress, I must get it to her. We shouldn't dawdle. Yeah, we shouldn't. Okay. Let's go back to Zek. Offer support. Hope the house doesn't burn down. You don't have... What did it say? We're going all the way out here. Let's look at him. 
No, 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 no. They got it all wrong. It's gotta be wrong. It must be a mistake. It has to be wrong. It has to be. Why? Why, Angie? He's got a feather. Calming. Aimless. All right, where am I? Oh, 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 we're almost there. What's in here? Can't look? Fine. Offer support. I'm about to offer some support. There's so much to do. It's already 12.45 in the game. It's already one o'clock, I mean. Connie. I wish I knew what to say, but I'm a stupid mess right now. You know, the way everyone just stood there when Gallia told them? They didn't even ask if it was really Angie that they had found. Seriously, what if all this is just some kind of... Something hey, you guys. Are you okay? Should we get going? Thanks for doing this, Jasper. Sure. The nav says it should take less than 45 minutes. So, we shouldn't be away too long. We are going there to see our daughter. So it will take as long as it needs to. Okay. I'm not going along? Let's get cracking, then. Wait, this guy's thinking about... Oh, that's her. Okay. God! Don't hold it against him, sis. It's a lot to take in. What did he say? I missed it! Zek needs time for himself before I can talk to him again. Everyone's so upset. Let's find a way to confront... To comfort them. So mom and dad are gone. I must take care of all the... Oh, that's her. There's so many blogs about coping. I don't know, where's she? Let's go here and see about helping with the paperwork. Oh, I can't? Wait. Her. Can't? Um... I don't even know what to do at the moment. Oh, I see. Well, this one's fairly close. Let's go here. There's a church. Nobody's here. go this far out. Look at that. That's cool. I thought she was holding a knife. <laughs> it's a pipe. It's you. Galia already told me. I hope they caught the bastard who did it. It wouldn't make any difference. Not where it matters most, no. Your sister, we weren't really close, but I liked her a lot. You people who moved here, you really don't understand you the people. work in keeping an entire village running. She and Melville were the only ones who made the effort. She's probably referring to my poor attempts to keep everyone talking with each other. You noticed? Of course. Hers was a fool's errand, but you can never blame a girl for trying. You're wrong. Yesterby is not a hopeless case. Doesn't that sound just like her? It's such a shame. Such a terrible, terrible shame. You're a good girl, Connie. 
Don't do anything stupid, okay? Henrietta went through some bad stuff in her life, like when Jasper bought the village and moved here with us over-eager city folk. But she always bounces back. She'll be fine. She has smoked pipe, tired, accepted, content. She needs some sleep. Okay. Next. Let's go over here to Eli. Oh, I can fast forward. <laughs> What is that? It's like a lion statue? Where is he? I'm upstairs. Wait. That's a kid. Eli, sleep, hunger, attention. He needs attention and to play. The others, oh, too late. Uh, hello? River? I'm not looking for your sister. I'm here to talk to you. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Why? He just switched to testy. Bored, frustrated. Everyone is just weird right now. I need to get to the bottom of this. Because I want to know if you're all right. Why? Angie was your babysitter. I don't need a babysitter. But no, there's a third floor. I can look after myself. I have to go. I have important projects to invent. Bye. Don't mind him. He doesn't understand what all of this means. No one does really, except for us, of course. So he's just bored now. Well, I got you some attention there, guy. All right, what do we need to do next? I wish I would have heard what she said to Zek. about Angie. Everyone is. Say, uh, you don't look too good. Bro definitely thought of me? This guy or, or the kid? Wanna sit down and chat? Say something encouraging. They are the lost ones, remember? What's important now is that you don't lose heart. But if you do, just figure out where it went and follow it. <laughs> wow. Sounds oh. <laughs> like something from some esoteric self-care blog. That was the old lady. She's like, you people keep moving into this town. <laughs> I just, I hear when people say stuff like that. Now, um, yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh, isn't that a quote from Angie? Uh, yeah, from my unicorn poster days. How does he know? He didn't live here back then. I just want to make sure everyone's okay. Uh, right. Spread the word. You look after yourself, okay, Connie? Um, how did you know that quote was from Angela? Oh, we showed each other some of our earliest writing ones. I didn't know that. Better steer clear of him. He'll second guess everything you say, and we'll always know better. None of it will make our job easier. I, I... I have to go. Sure, uh... See ya. Okay, bye. Alright. Next. I'm here. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? This is... Mom and Dad 
going to see the, the casket. You're the, out of your mind. The body. I'm not letting you abuse my daughter's name for your vain project. Come on, it was just a pitch. No need to get upset about it. Jeez. Honey, are you coming? Oh, what's going on here? Hello, Lee. Oh, hey there. I am so sorry. I really, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Ask her if she needs a hand with the plants. That used to be my entry to get us talking. Do you need help in the greenhouse? Oh, no. Please don't concern yourself with silly stuff like that. The gal and I got it all under control. Oh. Anything else, then? It's all good on our end. I'll just bunker up with Gallia or Bodhi and watch something wholesome on TV. It'd be nice if I could do that with both of them, but... You know, it's hard. <laughs> Are they fighting again? Fighting is the wrong word. Being awkward with each other would be better. But there I go, rambling on about my problems. You know what? We could watch something too if you want. Or play catastrophe carts on the console. How about it? I'd rather make myself useful than play games. But thank you. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, sorry. Just play some games. I like Lee. She's a lot of fun to be around. Even though she can be a bit fragile. Hmm? What was that? Depressed. Hunger is going down. Self-care is going down. Okay. Next. Blanche. Oh, she got... She came up here. I didn't have to go all the way out to see her. My solitude is going... Wait, is solitude is by yourself, right? I need routine. What do I do for routine? Oh. Sewing machine. TV. Diary. Oh. Wait, let's go sew for a little bit. I'll get my routine up. It, this is just like The Sims, but there's like a story to it. This is awesome. Bang a ring! I tried to join an hour ago and no one was here and nothing was on? What? Wait, there was nothing on, on the screen? I've been here for two hours and 46 minutes. What'd you actually see? How did it go? I pitched the idea that we rename the boat lodge after Angela. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it did seem like a good idea at the time. That's the second time that you've made this mistake. Oh, please. After Shemri's accident, when you told Pia that you were planning to take over Jemri's project to make it your own. You know very well that I didn't mean it like that. But it is in effect what you did, and what you are still doing. But this is about their legacy. Jemri and Angela did so much for Yesterby, but... It looked like your desktop home? So it just looked, it just looked like this? Or... Or actually like this? That's weird. I don't know. I've been here. We finished, uh... We finished Hortel's The Beggar. Uh, and then I played a, another demo that I accidentally opened, so I just played it. Which was pretty funny. And now I'm trying this demo, which I thought was over 20 minutes ago, and it just keeps going. Yeah. But make sure you're here Wednesday for Death Stranding, though. No one sees it. All I am trying to do is to share their ideas and vision with the world. I can only hope that someone will do the same for me when I'm gone. But it's not their legacy. It's become yours. That's not... I mean, it's... Oh, fine. I'm a slimy, exploitative businessman. I get it. No. But you have a tendency to make things about yourself. What is that? How was your day, by the way? What is Let's this? Let's talk about this tomorrow. I'm pretty tired. 
I'm sewing. Whatever happened to your wool protinger, sis? All that raw wool won't sew itself, huh? Yeah, I was just saying, it looks like The Sims, because you got stuff here you need to do, and you got all these characters, um, and it has a story. So, the story, if you missed it, was at the beginning, the police come to her house. Oh. That's mom. Wait. What's up, mom? Uh. Hug? Bye. <laughs> Alright. The police come to her house. The parents say, go up to your room. And then dad comes up and says, oh, because her sister wasn't home when she should be. Dad comes up and says, there's been an accident. And then eventually they all sit down and she says, there's been an accident. And then it was the end of the demo. It showed like the demo, like what the name and everything. And I thought it was over. And then it came back to outside the house the next day where the whole town was meeting together. And they said that her sister was riding her bike. She got hit by a car. They called an ambulance. But by the time the ambulance got there, she was dead. So this is the first day after her sister died. And actually, you can't see it up here in the top left, but it's already 9.15. If I speed this up, we'll get a little routine going. What's my bedtime? Okay, okay. My stats are getting better. We'll talk to more people tomorrow. When my sleep hits red... Oh, it's red. Tired. Is this my house? I'm so confused about where I am. This is not my house. Why am I sewing it? Wait, is this my house? Oh, it is my house. Uh, okay. Where's my bed? It's... I'm in my bedroom. Okay, I found my bed. <laughs> uh, Alright, might as well go to sleep. I got routine up a little bit. We're gonna get sleep up. We're gonna have to eat in the morning. This is pretty cool. This is not what I thought it was gonna be. That's why every game needs a demo. I've played so many horror games if you are waiting for something to happen, you may click the fast forward button or stop fast forward again if something important happens. I played so many horror games or games that I think look cool where I watch the trailer and I think, wow, that looks awesome. And it's only $5. So I get it and I play it and not very far into it, I'm like, oh, this kind of sucks. This one didn't even look like this. I thought that... Hey, leave me alone. I'm sleeping. Wait, here's here's her. Tired, distraught, forsaken. Okay. Um, I thought it was going to be like this type of... Maybe like a side-scroller or something. Like, like this happens, and then you go out on an adventure to learn... Like, what really happened to your sister or something. And then it ends up being, like, hardcore sims. <laughs> Alright. Let's go till we get up. It's 11.15. Can't go faster. 11.30. We definitely need a better fast forward here. What a day, huh? I thought there would be more... It's midnight. I don't know. More of anything, really. Instead, it's all so... muted. Hey, Connie? Are you okay? I don't... Oh! That's the dead sister talking. And, and my character that's sleeping is Connie. So the ghost of the dead sister is talking to her. Understand. I know. It's all so weird, isn't it? No. 
I don't understand what it is that you want me to do. I... I want you not to be alone, and for the others not to be alone. And if you can help them get through to the other side of whatever the hell this is, that would be even better. But why me? No one listens to me. Right now, all I want is to stay home and... But I can't do that either. Because you're not there. I'm wherever you there. are, sis. And of course they won't listen to you. They never listen to me either. The only way to get through to them is to figure out what makes them tick. How? By remembering all the stuff we went through together. But first, we need to prepare. Like, I always put on my jacket when things got rough, remember? This has to be the end of the demo. Remember? It went on for like 45 minutes longer than I thought it would. Hey, I'm sleeping. It's sleep time. <laughs> so How this is I my look? sister. Old? Old or older? Grandma used to wear a jacket like that. <laughs> huh. Now that you mention it. So, this is perfect. Grandma was tough. This will do nicely. Why do you want to change so much? I just need to make a statement. If they see me wear this, they'll know I mean business. You still look old. Let's hope you're right. I'm fed up with everyone treating me like a child. I'll go out and I'm going to make a difference. Let this piece of cheap fabric be my witness. I worried a lot since then. Maybe seeing it will jog memories. Look for it in my room tomorrow. It should still be there. Look for the jacket in our room. Am I sleeping? My sleep is going down. Oh, what's going on here? Can't sleep. Yeah, I'm, they are a gay couple. I'm worried about Connie. It must be hard for her. Connie's me. You wouldn't know it if you talked to her. She acts as if nothing's happened. Maybe she's only protecting herself. She asked me about Angie's checkup. Why? I think she's blaming me for the accident. What does one thing have to do with the other? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I said something stupid to Angie that made her... <laughs> Stop it right there. That's ridiculous. Oh, I can't pause you it right now. You were treating her. Oh, wait. I just, I just reread your last... <laughs> Nothing on your end, probably my app. This looks like The Sims, but with words. <laughs> I just, I didn't read the end of it when I read it the first time. With words. That's your job. <laughs> I guess you're right. Oh? How long has it been since Lee moved in with you? Three years? Four? I think this is my third sister. You know, you make a great couple. I'm truly happy for you. Thank you, but let's stay on topic, okay? I just received your blood analysis. It looks like you've not been taking your meds very diligently in the last few weeks. Yeah. I may have forgot to take them occasionally, but uh, I've been going through some stuff lately and... Speaking of meds, instead of weird mumbles... Yeah, I know. Speaking of meds... <laughs> I was taking my pills before bed and I was like kind of standing adjacent to the toilet and the lid was open and I took the lid off and I went to dump them in my hand but the lid started to slip out of my hand and it kind of like shot out of my hand and I was like oh no it's gonna go in the toilet so I went to try to catch the lid and in doing that I went like, like this, I was kind of like, I was like, kind of brought him up and the whole bottle flew out and went all over the bathroom. They went on the toilet, in the toilet, under the toilet. Uh, there were some in like the plunger, the thing that you put the plunger in, the plunger holder. They were everywhere. So I threw away. <laughs> all the ones that were in on and around the toilet and in the plunger well the plunger had like some water the plunger holder had some water in the bottom too so i'm like i am not taking those 
Uh, I threw away all those. There were some that went f a little farther away from the toilet. So I kind of picked those up, dusted them off, looked at them. They were kind of like on the opposite side of the room than the toilet. So <laughs> I picked them up and I think I like, it's a pretty big bottle. It says, uh, it said a hundred and wait. Oh, 90. It holds 90. And I saved like 12 of them. <laughs> like, all right, well, there goes. I don't know how much it costs, but I literally just flushed the money I paid for those pills down the toilet. <laughs> just add a little extra flavor. Uh, no, I threw them all away. And there were some in the toilet too, so I just flushed it and let those go. I was worried about the lid going in the toilet, which I should have just let that go because I could have taken the pills and dumped them in another bottle like this one. This one's almost empty. I could have just dumped them in there and let the lid go. <laughs> Freaking idiot. <sighs> I keep this one down here so I remember to take it before I go to bed, but I still forget. Anyway, that was fun. That happened last night. It's yesterday. It's changing and not for the better. Yesterday is the town. You can do better than that. Oh, what's gotten into you today? You're almost back to your old grumpy self. Yeah, Speaking well, that, life can't always be sunshine and roses. Same goes for the these. village. I guess. There's something else I've been meaning to tell you. I've been mulling it over for a while now, and, um... I've decided to leave and move to the city, at least mm. for a while. I don't know for how long, but I've been here doing? my entire life. I think it's time to move on. It's important to me that you're the first to know. This is Galia, the doctor. The doctor I'm lady. afraid that isn't possible. Oh, come on. You told me there are lots of people like me who live normal city lives. Yes, but those are less severe cases. All the viruses and germs, your immune system wouldn't be able to cope. In the city? I'd be careful. I'm sorry, but no. But you said- As your doctor, I strongly advise against it. Yeah, right. Is this you or mom speaking? Your um, mother is a very kind woman. If it wasn't for her, neither of us would be here. Sorry, I can't listen to this right now. Angie, let's continue this conversation when you're in a better mood. I need some air. A time machine, so I go to next week to get my PC. What mama don't know won't hurt her. Gee. Oh, they're getting up. So that's this lady. I think Galia feels more lost than she... She's feeling unhealthy and guilty conscience. I wonder why she has a guilty conscience. Let's on. Maybe I can whisper to her like I'm whispering to you, sis. Oh, look at this house. It's got like a grass roof. Dang, look at these hippies. Except this right here, whoop, looks like a fire hazard. With the chimney that close to it. All right, we got to go here. Morning. Sorry, did I wake you? Just 10% or so. Most of me still dreaming about being the mayor of Flower Town. Oh, sounds peaceful. It isn't. Corruption oh, is. I didn't read this. Gallia can now be guided by you, just as Connie can. You can also assign different tasks to multiple characters at the same time. <gasps> I can control two characters now. Running rampant among the early bloomers. I am about to testify against the Chief of Tulips. Nasty business. By the way, I was thinking we could spend the day in the wild and collect some flowers for Angie's wreath. It's too late for Alp and Rose, but we might spot a few of the last surviving dandelions. It's raining. You want to put a garland of weeds on the grave? Come on, dandelions are pretty. Pia wouldn't like it. 
Besides, I can't afford losing an entire day picking flowers. Maybe we should continue the conversation after you've gone running. You in the can rain. be such a stick in the mud when you haven't worn yourself out yet. Why not just take some roses from the greenhouse? It would save us a lot of time. Sorry, gotta go. The witness stand is calling. <laughs> so she's feeling stressed and guilty conscience now. There are, these are the basic needs of the selected character. Fulfill needs, fulfilled needs will improve a character's well-being. Click this need to see what they can do to fulfill it. So health is all the way down, loyalty is all the way down, diligence is pretty low. So let's look at health. The overview shows all possible interactions that relate to the selected need. Click on any marker related to so I already know this because I did it with the other character this one is home trainer and this one is stove I think she wants to train run exercise that's what she wants to do dude this is so cool Okay, so she's not going to run outside. All right, you do that. Uh, what's going on here? Wait, 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 wait. I mustn't forget about the funeral wreath. Perhaps I should involve L Leah or simply make it myself. There must be more I can do for Angela's family. You didn't wear your precious jacket that night. It's still hanging in your closet gathering dust. Wait, what's she doing right now? Is she still sewing? She is. So, I need... Okay, I need to eat. And I need harmony. Whoa, what is out here? Oh, that's dad. Wait. Uh, harmony? Wardrobe. Okay, that's really close. Let's see if we can get some harmony. Take my jacket. Dude, I cannot believe that I'm still playing this demo. Go, play. Oh, wait. Something's going on. Oh, Mom, it's... So, this girl is my dead sister's best friend. There's a blue note on the fridge. Or maybe that's a screen. Why can't I hear you? I don't know how. <laughs> She's so far away. Give her time. Just let her know that you're there. But how can she be so cold? Angie was her sister. Everyone greeted. Yeah, there's always like two of them going on at the same time. I'm gonna. Ch so that happened when I was talking to, I guess, my sister's boyfriend. Right when I got there, there was another one going on, so I'm like, okay, I gotta go see what that is. And then when they got done talking, I went back over to him, and he was walking away from me, and he's like, ah. <clears throat> so I don't know what they said. <laughs> so let's try to get the gist of this one, and then I'll move back. It's differently. <laughs> what is this? This is all such a bad dream. A bull and a lion? I'll... I'll wait then. And I'll wait with you. So this Thanks, is this girl. Mom. And this mom. So this girl... Self-doubting, gloomy. She needs to eat. She needs recognition I can't do her yet so this is her mom Blanche okay Eli River Bodie Zek they're all still kids really they shouldn't have to go through something like this we must keep yesterday together now I need to keep smiling regardless of how I feel all right let's go over here
get my jacket. Oh, this is her sister's room. She's getting her jacket. It suits you. But are you sure you want to wear it? It's just my silly jacket. Yeah. You never particularly cared for yourself. It's raining. If it worked for you, it'll work for me. Maybe we can think of it as you and me wearing it together. She's talking to her dead sister right now. There's something in your pocket. Oh? It's a calendar. That's a big... So that's where I put it. Anything interesting in it? Dad's paper chase. Lee's move to Yesterby. Broke Mom's wheel. This That's could be key book. to figuring out our way forward. Give me some time. I'm sure we'll remember more soon. Let's give this rag a spin. Okay, so that should give me... Oh, yeah! Oh, man, that filled up my harmony like halfway. Alright, so my hunger is empty. Wait, what can I routine? Sewing machine, we did that TV diary? Hmm, let's eat first. Fridge. Eat a snack. Go. Get some. Dude, I cannot believe this demo is still going. I thought they were just giving us a taste of the story and it was over and then it kept going. Oh, wait, she's just eating. Let's look at this guy. Oh, so this is her dad. Oh, no. Wait. Yes. What this character experienced affected this need permanently. Des uh, occupation. As indicated by the little plus icon, as a result, its limits have changed, and the character will now act a little differently. So if you look on his occupation here, oh, there's a, a little box, all the like the last quarter of it. And I think he needs that filled up to here to be better. Someone needs to prepare the plot at the cemetery. That's not your job <laughs> to dig your own daughter's grave. Are you kidding me? Maybe that's my chance to make up, make it up to Pia. Pia is the mom. Are you are you serious right now? You're digging your daughter's grave, dude. All right, let's look at Galia. I got the list from the insurance company. They've asked for a few more papers. I can get them in order if you want. Oh wow, her health is all the way up now from writing that. We need. Diligence, loyalty, and resilience. That's going to be a lot. No need. It's all done. I also ordered a coffin. Oh bought funeral dresses for me and Con. She's talking to the mom. My my Connie's mom and my dead sister's mom right now. I need to order a coffin. Bought funeral dresses for me and Connie. And stationery for all the letters I'm about to write. Anything else I can take off your plate? Like cleaning, laundry, or, or cooking? Oh, no. The towels. They were supposed to be washed yesterday. Okay. You focus on the letters. I'll take care of the household, all right? I couldn't... Ah, uh -uh. you did uh -uh. more for me in the past. This is me just thanking you for it. Bless you, Galena. <laughs> oh! That's what I was trying to think of when we were talking about Jurassic Park today at work. Uh-uh-uh. You didn't say the magic word. Uh-uh-uh. 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 Please! <laughs> Alright, let's get back. Wait. Can I make her do something that's going to help? Loyalty. Resilience. What's this? Go running. Take a book, read a book, watch TV, turn on. Uh, go running. I bet you like that. Go right now. What are you doing walking? Run. There you go. All right, you work on that. And here we're going to, oh wow, I need to eat more. Eat a snack. Wait, why can't I do that? There's a time limit until I can eat again. 
Uh, and we're pretty good. Let's continue on. Everyone is upset. Ooh. He's really close. Let's go here. Offer support. <laughs> oh, hey. What's going on, man? Is there anything you need? I'm fine. I doubt that. So He's this probably having flashbacks to when he lost his wife. Melville. He is guilt struck, guilty conscience, self doubting. This place is all that's left of Sem? All that's left of our dream. Wait. What's the sister's name? I don't remember. Wait, all that's left of our dream? Wait, did he have something going on with her? Why is he so guilty? Um, okay, we'll let that go. Let's go here. Are you kidding me? What does he think he's doing? Right? That's what I was saying. Wait. What you doing, guy? Ask about him digging the grave. Ask if he... Yeah, ask him about him digging the grave. What is he doing? Imagine your kid dies, and then the next day... Well, I guess two days. You have to go to the cemetery with a shovel and dig their grave. Put that shovel down at once. Yeah. Go play some video games. This is not your responsibility. You're going through enough as it is. I didn't want to bother anyone. Overwhelmed. You'll bother anyone. Depressed. And everyone who finds out about this. Someone needs to prepare the plot at the cemetery. Maybe that's my chance. Okay, I read that. I need to keep myself busy or I'll become useless and fail them even more. Including your wife. Pia knows. Please, it's no big deal. Just let me get this over with. At least let me help. It is a big deal. So much Stop. Already. Sorry, let me move this so you can see. I couldn't ask for more. Don't be silly. You don't have to ask. Pia won't like this. Maybe you could get someone else. Like Lee or Blanche or Melville. I can ask around. But would you actually wait until I found someone? I can't sit still. I need to keep moving. At least take a break every once in a while, okay? I get it. <laughs> I'll try. How's the farm? Is there anything I can help Ooh, you with? Our relationship. Uh, went up. You know, there's always something. But we decided to let things lie for a couple of days. It'll become harder soon enough, now that it's just the three of us. <laughs> just tell me if there's something I can take off your hands. Was offered help from Galia with digging the grave. Connie and Angelo's father. He runs the farm with Pia together. Doesn't need much to be happy. Um, and then with me, he has a great relationship. Melville, he has a good relationship. And Zek, who is the dead girl's boyfriend, I'm assuming, has a good relationship. It's fine. I... No, wait. The sheep. I guess I'm guessing we're gonna get him next as a playable character. I totally forgot. Timber and Jude have been feeling a little bit down lately. It was Angie who noticed first. <laughs> He's talking about the sheep. He's like Timber and Jude have been feeling down. A couple of his sheep are feeling depressed. The day before she went out, she loved the little puffball so much. I'll go check on him. Thanks. Stop, guy. Do not dig your own kid's grave. Um, she... I have to check on Axel's sheep. Collecting some feces. Should do. What? I can't let Axel dig the grave alone. He's going through enough already. Pia's towels need to be washed. She shouldn't be bothered with the household at this time. I feel like that's something that the mother would like to do. 
the laundry like routine stuff okay you're gonna go check the damn sheep examine sheep uh wait what is this accomplished and vulnerable okay what are you doing you need to eat again can i not eat i can't eat again everyone's so upset let's find a way to comfort them uh let's go talk to her you're doing pretty good except you need to eat and it won't let me um let's look at the sheep lady how far away are these sheep you could be running you know oh wait 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 stop Angela, Just not so much. Picking up sheep so, poop. Maybe I'd rather. I wish I could rewind, even just to see what was said that I missed. Be somewhere else. Then it's, stay at our house. It's noon already. We'll be eating soon. Yes, no, I need to eat. You. I have what? to focus on everyone else. What do you mean? It sounds weird, but it's not. <laughs> She's just shoveling I'm shit back here. Right. <laughs> see you soon. See you, Connie. All right, what are you asked to help dad dig the grave? <laughs> uh, I wish I knew what this crown meant right here. Oh, loyalty. Oh, yeah. Do it. She's going to ask to dig the grave. Son. So this is the dead girl's boyfriend. Wait, I can't hear. But if you need time, don't push yourself too hard, you hear? I think he said I'm gonna make a sculpture like I did for your mother. Yeah. How about I take it real slow for a couple of years, huh? You know, get drunk all day, feel sorry for myself. Oh, I'm bound to get over it sooner or later, right, Dad? Don't make this about your mother. Oh. Alright, let's go back here. Axel is at the cemetery, digging a grave for Angela. What? That's not something he should do. Right? I know. That's why I'm looking for someone to take over from him. I need to keep an eye on E, but you could ask Jasper. He promised to put the lodge project on hold until after the funeral. So, he should be free. Jasper. Well, wouldn't that be a sight to behold? I'll see if I can find him. Okay, Jasper. Um, can't let Axel dig the grave. Jasper, why is he so far away? All right, we'll ask him for help. What are you doing? You need to talk to Jasper. We're both going. Wait, also, I need to eat again. Eat a snack. Do that first, please. Alright. Okay, now... Go talk to Jasper. I need to wrap this up here very soon. ask a favor. Shoot. Axel took it on himself to dig his own daddy's grave in the cemetery. Could you help him so he doesn't do it alone? Me? Honestly, I'm pretty busy with the boat lodge right now. I put all dev work on hold. But there's still a lot of back and forth with the investors. They can be a pretty paranoid bunch, but that's just between you and me. We would really appreciate it if you helped. We? That's you and Axel, right? It's everyone with a heart. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't want to do... Oh! His relationship with her went down. 
Uh, where is he? Here. I can't halt the lodge's development forever. Each day not spent at the docks is money down the drain. Okay relationship. I have to go to this one. Nice jacket. Suits you. Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? Thank you. That was worth going to see. No, not him. Uh, him. Is he going to do it? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Now I need to ask this guy. Ask for help. And you... She's, she's there. Hey, isn't that guy in his jacket? Yeah. I thought so. This may sound weird, but I can almost see her still in there. <laughs> she is. Why are you standing so close? I'm trying to keep her close. I listened to our old recordings for that. It's a You're out for the night? Me too. I need to go right now. I just assumed I would get to the end of this before I was playing it for an hour. So, cool. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. So strange to hear her voice. Thanks for stopping by. I know. All right, we did that. Oh, he's she's got to talk to him. Oh, uh, hello. Shouldn't you be with your parents? They're busy with themselves. You don't seem very sad. That's harsh. True, your sister and I didn't always see eye to eye with each other, but she was a very smart and dedicated oh, young woman, and I respected her. What's going on here? Would you mind helping Axel at the cemetery? He's digging the grave all by himself. <sighs> that fool. You know better than anyone what he's going through. And the reason I picked him is because Axel's relationships, Melville, is good relationship. You could help him or maybe even talk him out of it. If I go, I would have less time on the sculpture for Angela's grave. Couldn't your son take over from you? Oh, but him with Axel's only okay. So Axel likes Melville more than he likes him. He's been a mess ever since the gathering. It's best to leave him alone. Is he going? All right, let's do Pia's towels. I'm right there. I wash laundry. All right, I got to go. <laughs> when I started this, I did not think it would go this long. And there was a point when I thought it was over and it just kept hey, going. I was looking for you. Sorry about earlier. I oh, stop it. That's nice. I've said those things to you. It's all right. No, I wasn't. Maybe you can't hear Angela. Ooh. Because you're too loud. I finished one. Connie, stop it. Please. Did you know that my dad is carving a sculpture for Angie? The guy who almost bought her some boy band crap for her last birthday? I should be the one to do it, but I can't. Right now, I can't even make myself a cup of coffee without wanting to smash the entire kitchen. I want her to still be around. I want to hear her, but there's nothing. Even if you can't hear her, she hears you. I can't even imagine. I've never had anybody that close to me pass away. It's always been people that I don't really know that, like I, I kind of know them, but I don't know them that well, or like grandparents. Um, but someone as close as like a personal friend or a girlfriend has never happened. So I can't quite, I mean, I understand you wouldn't be able to do anything, but I can't quite 
put myself there. You should try talking to her. Talking to the... I know you're trying to help. Her sister. That's kind, but... I need to go right now. Let's talk again later, okay? Okay. Dude, I finished all my tasks. Alright, so she needs more routine. We already did sewing. Let's do diary. Write down memories. And what are you doing? You're doing towels. Wait, are you not doing towels? What are you doing? You still picking up sheep poop? Go running? Do the damn towels! I have to check up on Axel's sheep. Oh, we're still collecting feces. Okay. Alright, well, um, I gotta go to bed. It's, it's like an hour after... Wait, some needs are restricted to certain limits. The white outlines... Oh, yeah. So, because of what happened, you have to keep them up into the box. I gotta go. It's an hour past when I wanted to quit for the night. But this just kept going and going. And I thought, it's gonna be over at any time. And it's still not over. I like this a lot. This is really cool. I'm going to put it on my wish list and keep an eye on it. But I will be back tomorrow. I think I'm going to do Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. We're about three quarters of the way done with that game. So I want to make some good progress on it. And then Wednesday, I want to start Death Stranding. I've never played it. I watched somebody play it uh, back when it came out. You know what I always did when I had trouble deciding what to do next? I just wrote everything down. It helped me focus on what's important. But with Death Stranding 2 announced to come out next year, I want to make sure that I get Death Stranding 1 done before that one comes out. So, Wednesday. I try to start as early as I can. 7, 7.30 instead of 8 o'clock. Mountain time. Uh, and we go a little bit late. I go till this exact time right now instead of an hour ago. <laughs> so thanks so much for coming to hang out tonight, everybody. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed Horror Tales The Beggar, which is the game I played first that we finished. I liked it. It's short. It didn't put as much story in as I want. <clears throat> but the next game, Iron Reich, when that comes out, hopefully we'll learn more. But I thought it was good anyway. So thanks so much for coming to hang out tonight. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the stream, make sure you follow, turn on notifications, and if you would like to support the channel, never see any ads, and you'd also be welcome to join my private Satisfactory server for subscribers only. And if I haven't mentioned it lately, Satisfactory 1.0 is scheduled to come out this year that has the full story and we will be resetting the server and starting from the beginning to play the whole story. All you got to do is subscribe for $5 or you can subscribe for free. And you can do that by connecting any Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. You get a free subscription every month. If you choose to use it here, you'll never have to see ads again and you can join the server for free. Your only other option is to hope you get gifted a sub, which really doesn't happen that often. Or maybe you can make friends with somebody in chat and say, please, I need to get gifted a sub. Maybe it'll happen. All right, I got to go. Thanks again for being here, everybody. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you tomorrow. Later, guys.